I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, Queen of Pentacles, and it's with Temperance. Now, Queen of Pentacles, it indicates that you could have been spending money, time, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing that this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People were probably looking to you for insight or maybe some advice. You would you would have been able to help them if you decided to do so. This would have been a time period when you got a whole lot of things accomplished. Now it's with temperance with this card. Although all your relationships, they're likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at any deep personal issues that you have and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you could have had. So... Recent past, energy, queen of pinnacles, clarified by temperance. So Sagittarius, the message that I'm getting is that, yeah, the person that you were involved with, it looks like you felt like the connection needed to be brought back into balance. Or maybe you felt like you needed to be brought back into balance. Maybe you felt like you needed um, your peace of mind to come back. Maybe you felt like you could have been losing yourself. Um, yeah, there was some type of balance that needed to be brought back, whether it was with you or the connection or maybe both. You were looking for a peace of mind also. And you did this by falling back because the Queen of Pentacles, that's what she does. She falls back. You see how the Queen of Pentacles, it's the card above the word pass. It looks like she's sitting in her backyard in a lounge chair. She's feeding the squirrels and the pets or the um, birds that come by. And she's got a dog sleeping on her toes, keeping her feet warm. She's cuddling a huge pinnacle, and she's got a, a slight smile on her face, so she's glad she's got some money in the bank. She's just taking joy in the ordinary things, and that's how a lot of you felt in the recent past about you and the person you were involved with, this connection. You just want a peace of mind. It looks like you probably um, lost it. You lost peace of mind. You're probably too focused on the connection. And for some of you, you lost yourself. So you realize it was time to pull back. And that's what the Queen of Pentacles is doing. She's pulling back. She's falling back. And she's just taking joy in just the simple, simple things that life have to offer. Whereas it's not... It's not challenging. It's just comfort. Just plain, ordinary comfort. And that's what you felt like you needed. Because like I said, I'm getting the feeling that a lot of you put a lot of energy into your person or the connection. And you, you kind of lost yourself. You lost yourself in the connection. You lost yourself to this person. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this Ten of Swords, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Swords is actually a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When it comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that the situation is stable, 
Well, it's actually showing in the picture. It's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you're going to have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Now to the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is often a sign of a turn for the better. Especially when it comes to money. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that can mean money. Well, it does mean money. Cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacles in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So, when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day. Not just a positive time, but a whole complete positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles is a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. So coming up, Sagittarius, Ten of Swords, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting for a lot of you is that this person or this connection that you decided that you wanted to, to step back, fall back from, or just take a break from, and find balance in yourself again, and get peace of mind again, um, you could start to realize or feel that you no longer trust that the connection is stable or you're just not trusting the, the situation or the connection anymore. Something about it or something happened or it's just how you're feeling. But it looks like because the Six of Pentacles is clarified by this card, for some of you, you you've got someone coming towards you with the Six of Pentacles here. This person um, will probably be, I'm showing, I'm picking up generosity. Yeah. Um, they'll probably be, probably be really giving to you in a lot of ways. They could be trying to do nice things for you. They could probably pick up or sense that you're, um, you've probably been through a difficult time. And someone's coming towards you like this. The Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they'll be very um, giving and kind and um, probably trying to do nice things for you. Maybe taking you out. Like I said, the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. So you got someone, this could be someone new, or it could be someone coming towards you, or it could be some of, yeah, it could be someone that you already know. I'm getting a strong feeling for most of you, it's someone that you already know, because they feel or they see that you're going through a difficult time. Yeah. They could, they could know that you're thinking about possibly coming out of a relationship because yeah like I said you're falling back from this per this recent past person and you're just starting to feel that you don't you no longer trust the connection but somebody is yeah somebody's got their eyes on you Sagittarius like I said for a lot of you I'm feeling that it's already someone that you know they're gonna start doing really they're gonna start doing nice things for you being very giving they could start buying you gifts, taking you out, doing nice things for you. So, that's what's coming up. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got this high priestess. And it's with the three of pentacles. Now the high priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. High Priestess is tied to the moon, femininity, inspiration. So it's actually a time to rely on your in intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. 
It's also important to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's going to be a really good idea. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in a tarot, especially when it comes to work, career, or family, or romance. It could go either way. But just know it's a really good card in the tarot. It means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do even if you don't get a paycheck. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. Although there could be some room for improvement, but when you get to Three of Pentacles, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. So your challenge, Sagittarius, High Priestess, clarified by this Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so, like I said, some money is coming towards you. This is going to help you yeah, take your mind off of this recent past energy that, that you're trying to fall back from. This person will be, is going to be very giving to you, very generous. Uh, like I said, maybe this person is just going to take you out a lot or just do nice things for you. Six of Pentacles, generosity, that's what it's all about. And... Um, you're going to find this person to be really attractive. You're going to be drawn to them. This person, like I said, for some of you, it's someone that you already know. Yeah, and if you were not attracted to this person before, you're going to start to see them in a different light. Whereas, you're going to start to, yeah, notice that they have some great qualities that you probably never noticed before. Yeah, you're going to start to be drawn to this person. Yeah, you're going to see that they're really, they're really a beautiful soul or just a beautiful person. And you're going to start to, yeah, just be more drawn to this, this person. And because it's with the Three of Pentacles, yeah, you probably, for a lot of you, you're going to start to do things to try to impress this person. Because if you look at the Three of Pentacles, it's the card below the word challenge. You see how this man, he has these two people at his feet. And he's showing them what he's doing or what, what, he, what he has in his hand. And they're looking up like, wow, that's nice you did that. So yeah, you're going to start to try to impress this person. So this is good, um, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody that you want to be drawn to. Yeah, and if, like I said, if it's someone that you know already, and and um, you never saw them as attractive, you're gonna start to s see their light. Yeah, maybe it's their inner. You're gonna start to see their inner beauty, or the way they're gonna start to make you feel by being so nice and generous towards you. It's going to spark some interest. You're going to start to, um, it's going to spark interest for this person. It's going to, yeah. And just looking at the high priestess, how, yeah, you're going to start to feel something. If you never felt anything before for this person, yeah, you're going to feel it now, and you're going to want to impress this person, so you're going to start to do things also. I don't know, maybe you'll, who knows what it is, but yeah. You're going to start to impress them, and they're going to start to do nice things for you, and you're going to look at them in a different way than you have ever looked at them before. In an exciting way, put it that way. So, that's the challenge. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the World card. And it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, the World card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So, don't quit now. 
Because you're so close, you could feel like you need some well deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you are at your deepest levels. And when it comes to work, it's actually a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So, it's going to be important for you to toot your, horn, toot your own horn a little. Just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now, it's with the Ace of Cups, which is a very powerful, positive card when it comes to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's actually about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life, so things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, and goodwill more than usually at this time. So you're going to start to feel really good about life. And this is also a good time to make friends. Yeah. I know we can't really do too much of that these days, but yeah, I guess you could do it online. It's a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. So your outcome, Sagittarius, the world card, and it's clarified by this Ace of Cups. Okay, so the message that I'm getting for the outcome is that, yeah, this person is really getting you excited, okay? Um, like I said, I'm getting for a lot of you, it's someone that you already know. And it's showing that this person is going to be good for you. Yeah, because the Ace of Cups is about, it's about a new love, a new beginning. And you're... Starting to realize that you need to close out this chapter with the, this recent past person. Yeah, you, you want to close it out. Because the world card, the card above the word outcome, the world card is about closure. So you've got someone, um, very, you got someone interested in you, somebody that wants to be with you, and they want to treat you really good. And... It's getting you excited, uh, Sagittarius. You're starting to, to want to do things to impress this person. Yeah, you're starting to see this person as very attractive. Or if it's someone new, this person is eye candy. Someone good to look at. Or this person could have a beautiful soul. Yeah, so you're ready to close out this chapter with... The recent past energy. Yeah. If this recent past energy was not a person and you were emotionally or, or just drained by, maybe you were drained by a situation and you decided and you realized that you needed to fall back from the situation. But that recent past energy for most of you as a person that you're dealing with. You decide to fall back, bring peace of mind back to yourself and to your life. And like I said, you realize you don't, you don't trust the connection, but here comes someone. Yeah, somebody that's going to get you really excited. And you're ready to close out that recent past energy that drain, that's draining you. Yeah, new love is coming or some great powerful rebonding. Of an existing one or an old one or some type of wonderful love with the Ace of Cups. So that's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over. How you both feel about the situation? What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next 
Sagittarius reading, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And yes, the roles of the people, they can be reversed. Yes, they can. You could be them or they could be you. So just take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday. I'm wishing all of you a happy new year. I'm wishing all of you the best for 2021. I hope to see you at the next reading. I'm wishing you a great day and take care.